This video is dedicated to Polly B. Thanks for being so patient. This is Manhattan, the most crowded borough of New York City. This is John Dyer, a YouTuber who also makes One Wheel and Yusuke content. Go check him out, he's a great guy and his videos are fun to watch. He recently published a video on his visit to New York and his ride at Summer Streets as well. I'll link to it for you below. Go watch it. Right, so Summer Streets is an event that takes place on Saturdays in August in which Park Avenue in Manhattan is closed from 72nd Street all the way downtown. It's a stretch of about seven miles that is without car traffic from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And it is stunning. Manhattan is a kind of a dangerously fun place to ride. The traffic is so heavy that much of the time you can pass cars easily and get anywhere quickly. But the taxis, bikers, psychotic pedestrians make it a bit of a bad idea for riders who are not comfortable on bad roads and sketchy scenarios. This event takes all that away and leaves you with a gorgeous view of the city on a chill ride through clear streets. Runners, cyclists, skaters, one-wheelers get to enjoy the city without fear of death by Uber. Now, as I mentioned before, the YouTuber John Dyer was in New York with his nephew, and they met up with us near the start of our group ride. This was the first time meeting another YouTube creator that did similar content, and it was a really cool experience. John is a cool guy with good stories and a welcoming attitude. Again, he made a video on this trip to New York and it's a really fun watch. It's linked below, so please take a moment afterward to check it out. Between legs of the ride, we stopped, chilled, chatted, and I got to hear some of John's impressions of his new one-wheel pint. Like my wife had never been on one wheel and she wanted the pint that we got it right. for her to learn on. And it was like, for her, the, the plus was easier, but she couldn't go off the plus, because like, her heel, she has tiny feet, that didn't really work. And then, because like the, the center didn't work that good for that, and then just, it didn't have simple stops, so like, she looked back for the pint made it better for her. The ride itself was really nice, highly enjoyable. I brought my new DJI Osmo Pocket, and that's kind of where the negative part of this all starts. Seems I had a defective unit, and it gave me a bunch of overheating problems. I lost some clips, and at some point in the day, it just stopped wanting to record. I've since replaced it, so that's fine, but there were some moments that I failed to capture, and I regret that quite a bit. But when bringing gear to make a video at an event, there are choices you have to make. Pack more stuff as a backup, and risk either damaging it in the fall, or not being able to ride as freely due to the extra carry. Or, pick one camera and hope that it works perfectly so that you can be more free in the actual riding. Quite often, I'll choose which way I go depending on the video I want to do, but in this case, I chose poorly. Even the GoPro would have been a good thing to toss in my pocket. That's on me. If anything, riding at Summer Streets was quite the learning experience. I learned that meeting other content creators is a great thing, and I enjoyed it a lot. I learned that even if I'm packing light gear, I should probably toss a backup somewhere so I don't miss moments. And I also learned that even the quickest videos take time to put together when I put things off until later. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this a bit. If not, be sure to hit that thumbs down and tell me in the comments exactly why this video sucked. And, as always, take care of yourself. <laughs>